talk about education because following president's directive for second year SHS and GHS students to return to school on October 5 to complete the remainder of the academic work for the 2019-2020 academic year, the Ministry of Education in collaboration with Zoom Lion Ghana Limited has begun the third phase of the disinfection exercise of all second cycle and basic schools across the country. The nationwide exercise, which kick-started Wednesday, is part of processes involved in cleaning possible strains of the coronavirus from the schools before the students return. My colleague Manuel Kranting was with the team in Accra in our report. As part of measures to prepare for the return of second year senior high and junior high school students, the Ministry of Education in collaboration with Zoom Lion Ghana Limited has launched the third phase of the nationwide disinfection exercise. In the Greater Accra region, the exercise will cover 109 senior high schools and 3,680 basic schools. Earlier, a similar exercise was carried out ahead of the reopening of schools for final year SHS and DHS students to prepare for their exit exams. Headmaster of Wesley Grammar Senior High School says the exercise was useful in keeping the campus free from the virus. It have been very great. Um, with the first two, the, uh, the disinfection and then the fumigation helped us a lot. In fact, initially we were having issues with bed bugs. But after the fumigation and the disinfection, there are no bed bugs in our dormitory blocks and anywhere else. And uh, so even beyond COVID-19, um, we would always wish that uh, when school reopens, um, we will get our ministry and the Ghana Education Service helping us with some of these um, exercises to help us sanitize our school. As the second year students return on October 5, Zoom Lions General Manager for Accra Zone, Ernest Morgan Aqua warned school authorities to enforce strict adherence to safety protocols so as not to erode the potency of the disinfection. But it's better that now that the third years have finished, they have assessed the premises and they have gone, we do the set of disinfection again so that the environment becomes very safe for all of them. Um, the disinfection that we are doing is very good, but it is not the end of the solution to the fight against COVID. The students that are coming in should observe all the protocols, the washing of hands, the use of alcohol-based sanitizers, the social distancing, the wearing of nose masks. They are all very, very important, you understand? It is now that um, they have to wash their hands under running water. The schools should 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 make it a point to get water for them. Yes. Meanwhile, assistant headmistress of the Accra Wesley Girls High School, Gifty Krantima, has been outlining some strategies being taken at her school to complement the disinfection exercise. Yes, it's actually a challenge, and now as you are, as you already said, a lot of restrictions have been eased, so people have taken the virus lightly. But as an institution, to, for the safety of the students, we are still going to adhere to all the safety protocols to ensure that our students are very safe with us. We're going to go on. And what we have actually done with the hot meal is, you know, because of the social distance, like we used to uh, make them queue for their food. Based on that, we were able to get some baskets for each class to ensure that they, they will take their bowls to the dining hall to be saved. And when it's time for lunch, they just go pick safely into their classrooms and then they have their uh, lunch in their classrooms. So I think it's going to go on and besides it's going to be very safe for them to have their lunch in their classroom. The exercise which is expected to be completed on September 30 is part of government's effort in preparing for the return of the students. For Joy News, Manuel Kranting.